Hey everyone, happy Palm Sunday. I'm gonna start off today with a joke. Where does the Easter Bunny go for breakfast? Uh, I don't know. To IHOP! <laughs> 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 so today is Palm Sunday and it's a very special day because it's the first day of Holy Week, which is the week before Easter. So it's the day when Jesus arrives in Jerusalem. So we know that Jesus knew that he was going to die. Jesus chose to come to earth and give up his life for us, for, to defeat sin and death and make a way for us to be with God forever. So we know this and Jesus knew this, but the people in Jerusalem at that time did not understand this. They thought he was just a great prophet. So the adults right now are reading So the adults right now are working through the book of Isaiah, and Isaiah is a prophet, and we know that a prophet is a person who gives people messages from God. And the message that Isaiah is giving is that God wants to bless the people of Israel and the rest of the world, that Jesus is the king over the whole earth, and everyone will one day bow down to him. So that sounds great, right? Unless you're the current king, then it's not so good. So on Palm Sunday, Jesus arrives, and the people are very excited. They think he's another great prophet, just like Isaiah. So Jesus arrives in Jerusalem, and he comes in on a donkey, which sounds a little funny, but once you understand the story, you'll understand why. So he comes in, and everyone's really excited, and they all cheer, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna kind of means hooray. And they all wave their palm branches, and they lay down their coats as a way to honor him. So now we're gonna read about it. So I'm gonna read from the NIRV Bible, um, Matthew chapter 21, verses one to 11. And this is the story of Jesus arriving in Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. As they all approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethphage. It was on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent out two disciples. He said to them, go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. Her coat will be with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. The owner will send them right away. This took place so that what was spoken through the prophet would come true. It says, Say to the city of Zion, See, your king comes to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. He is riding on a donkey's colt. The disciples went and did what Jesus told them to do. They brought the donkey and the colt. They're, they placed their coats on him for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their coats on the road. Others cut up branches from trees and spread them on the road. Some of the people went ahead of him and some followed. They all shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up. The people asked, who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus. He is the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. So to be totally honest, it makes me feel kind of sad that we can't be together in church today. Uh, because if we were, I'd give each one of you one of these palm branches and we'd dance around the church in celebration of Jesus' arrival and his willingness to die for us. But since we can't, each one of you can still shout Hosanna and sing and dance in your own home. And maybe you'll be more willing to do it there. But if you're even brave enough, I'd encourage you to take a picture or video of yourself shouting Hosanna and post it to our WhatsApp group so we can all see you doing that. Now, if you're curious about the story and you want to learn more and do our Sunday School lesson for the week, go back to the newsletter and check out the link to go to the meeting house and you'll learn why Jesus rode in on a donkey of all things. Okay. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest heavens. Blessed, heavens. Blessed is, is the one who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Hosanna! Hosanna to the Lord! Yay!